these guys are basically gonna cook the marmot meat inside the marmot skin. <laughs> They're all looking at us, they've totally noticed us. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> So we're just trying to figure out where to go from here. We were looking out for something on the left, some kind of road, and all we saw was a dirt track. Do you think we should just try the dirt track? And then I think on the other side might be paved, but I'm not sure. We're looking at going across to this town, Ulgi, but there's no main road to connect the two. So we're just gonna try to go down to Ulgi, across and find our way this way. Just give it a go, hey? As long as it's not sandy. Well, that's what we're gonna have to see, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, Ulgi, 70 kilometers this way. Go for it, guys. Oh okay. my goodness. I don't know if this is gonna be a mistake. So far, it's not too bad. Oh. Navigation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's take it nice and easy, hey? Yeah. Yeah, imagine a few years back, Mongolia would have been just roads like that, you know? Yeah, we're really lucky that we didn't do this circumnavigation like five years ago, really. <laughs> we would have had no chance. No. Oh, oh my goodness not too good is it it's not too good yeah mongolian coos <laughs> hi guys oh they look so chilled they do look chilled enjoy your day <laughs> don't let us disturb you wow beautiful okay so we seem to have lost the track a little bit but we are heading in the right direction but here is a sort of track but it's more of like a trench than a track so there is no way that I'm going to take that. Here's some sort of road. I think, yeah, I think follow this road. Follow this one? Yeah, I guess so. Oh my God, there's just tracks everywhere around here. Okay, this one looks a little bit better. Yeah, just follow this road for now. I just try to follow maps me here, but I mean, how funny is that, hey? Eh? Like, that's not even a road. This is like just, just a track. Yeah, the sign was like, oh, Ulgi, 70 kilometers this way. <laughs> Like, if you can find the way. Yes! Oh my goodness. If you can find it. But so we're supposed to be joining up with a bit of a bigger road soon, right? I guess so. How far away is that? I don't know. Well, my map in front is going crazy. It's like, doesn't really understand what we're doing now. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll just keep going straight for now, shall we? Yeah, we sort of have to keep to the right, though, somehow. So we've just decided to forget all the tracks and we're just driving straight cross country because we can see that there's a bigger road right in front of us, a couple of miles away. This way. This way? Yeah. Okay. So we should hit a track in a minute. Can you already see something? Yeah, I can see some like dugout bits ahead. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, there's something. Coming up, what's this? Oh yeah, it's here, this one, this one. This one? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, great. Careful? <laughs> yeah, it's this one. Okay, so it's not really a bigger road at all then? No. <laughs> it's like the same. Oh, I really thought we were heading to a tarmac road then. No. No, apparently not. Okay, we're getting closer. Apparently there is a big road coming in one and a half k's just down this track. Or a big air road. We don't know exactly how big. <laughs> a little bit off-roading here. <laughs> but we're starting to see more signs of life as well. We've got some gear set up around here. Really, I have such a big respect for these guys. Really, such a big respect. Because, you know, there is no running water. There's no luxury. There's just the uh, luxury of uh, living with the nature and living with your livestock. Yeah, you've got a choice between camel milk, camel cheese, or camel meat. <laughs> they know how to survive in a really harsh condition. Yeah, I cannot believe the guy this morning was like, I'm just going to wake up and go bow and arrow a marmot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like one with nature. Yeah. One with their surroundings. Yeah. Unless you're a marmot. Anyway, apparently, should be there in a minute. There's some telephone poles. Ah, telephone poles, that's got to mean a bigger road. So 
So, moment of truth, I think this is probably... Oh. Oh, there's like nothing. Oh, there's like nothing here! <sighs> okay. Yeah, I really thought we were coming to something, but apparently not. According to this, I am like... I am, I am here. This okay. is it. I mean, we're like dead on the line now. So I just carry on straight, shall I? I guess so. Olgi is down this road, 52 kilometers. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We reached it. The big, big highway. <laughs> Is this stream? I don't think it's big. Wait, should I? No, no, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Look, I can see the depth. Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, it's not the it's not the highway I was expecting, but okay. <laughs> Looks like we're kind of coming to a riverbed here. Uh, okay. Yep, to the left. Okay. Wow, yeah, there's really a river. Oh. Okay, so then I gotta climb up there, yeah? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, let me get a bit of width, okay? Okay. It's a little bit rough, hey? Oh my goodness. Whew. I don't know whether to go left or right here. We fell over. I went into a sandy bit in the middle and then we just slid. Oh. Damn it. Oh, let's take the stuff off first, eh? Hey? Okay. So let's just take off the pannier. Three, two, one. Okay, there's this bit, which seems to have ripped. Okay, ready? Put the stand down. Okay, three, two, one, go! Okay, good. Yeah, this one on. This, the, the crash bar is bent, but it's okay. Baeza, <laughs> Baeza. Uh, <laughs> How did the Moscow Moto Pania do? It's got loads of dirt in it, but it seems to have uh, survived. How does that look? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Baeza. The pedal's still on, which is good. Yeah. Really good news. Yeah. And the brake as well. But look at this crash Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks okay otherwise. That could have ended really, really bad. 
Yeah, because it didn't seem so soft. And here, look. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this still looks straight, relatively. Luckily, we are still in one piece. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, everything's back on, and uh, let's just see first if if the bike is going to start. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you, Bumblebee. Yeah, Bumblebee um, is a real trooper, hey? Yeah. Nothing broken. I think we're good. Oh, you know, now I say nothing broken. I'm not sure this front brake is. <laughs> the front brake didn't feel like it was working properly. Is it? Or am I just being paranoid? I thought it came in further, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just making it up. <laughs> and we're back on the move. Back on a bumpy road. Yeah, that was our first fall in ages. Yeah. I can't even remember the last time we fell off. We were doing so well. I know. Months and months and months. It's really a pity. Yeah. We have just to make sure that we get this bike to Kazakhstan, you know. Yeah. How many days now until our visa expires for um, Russia? 11 days. 11 days. Yeah. So I think I'll take it a little bit easier on this road from now on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, probably have like another 10 miles until we get to the first town which is called Ulgi yeah and then from there we're gonna have another look at the map and see which way to go yeah wow there's really a town in the middle of nowhere hey? we're gonna look for a petrol station first there should be one in town somewhere I think I can see a red a red bit over there I think that's the petrol station oh my god look it's tarmac oh yes tarmac in the town oh my god that's cool how nice yeah <sighs> mm -hmm. hello <laughs> Hello, <laughs> really cute. Oh, there's a petrol station. Oh, is that it? Perhaps that's it, yeah. yeah I think that's it. Careful. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay? Okay, cool. <gasps> oh no, oh no, no, no. Ah! Okay, thank you. <sighs> okay, how's the foot pedal now? Still all right? Yeah. Still good. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Just have a look if. Oh, that's a shop. That was a shop now. Okay, so we're just having a look at the map. 
and we are currently i think in here somewhere although it doesn't actually show this town so we are currently here and actually where we're trying to get to is here tsanganur which is the border town uh before crossing back into russia here now normally our plan was to go this way and then head up to this lake ashid nur like this and then across to olgi and then up to sanganur but judging by the fact that what we just did over the last 70 kilometers is considered a main road and if you go this way it goes from main road to secondary road secondary road to literally i don't even know what those are like tiny red line roads so like even way smaller than what we've just taken to get here the other option is to head down continuing on this main road or main road uh, and that reaches the town of Hovd and then from there this green road is a tarmac road that can take us up through Olgi and up to Sangonur. it's a bit of a detour it's a bit of a longer way but it actually has the least amount of dirt road before we actually hit another big road but for today we're just going to do like another 30 minutes get out of this town and then we'll go find a place to camp eh? so i am pretty much done for the day <laughs> two, drops is two drops is enough for one day so this day is just going from bad to worse so look at this sand and look at bumblebee and we barely got out of town can still see the town in the background we got like 10 minutes out of town and bumblebee is on the ground again <sighs> wow it got really sandy really fast here it's just really bad bad road conditions <sighs> okay ready three two one okay ready three two one <sighs> let's try again because i thought we nearly had that three two one oh wow Gonna take off the tank bag. Also, I did hurt my rib a bit, so I'm not at full strength. Okay, right, let's try again. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Nothing broken. At least sand is soft, hey? Might need to push up my back. It's more like it. Can we lift this up together? Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <coughs> Three, two, one. <coughs> okay, let's find a place to camp before we fall over again. Okay, <coughs> well, our first long dirt road in a long time is not going very well. Absolutely terrible. It's been a real challenge and it's been not very nice. Luckily, we have our Moscow Motors panniers, which we can slide off very easily. Yeah, it did make it a little bit quicker to sort it out, didn't it? Totally. 
but <sighs> as well these roads here are just terrible you think you're on the main track turns out that there's a more main track that just popped up next to you and then you're on the sandy track yeah so exactly. it's really hard to know when you're on the main one or if there even is a main one i don't think there really is a main one to be honest yeah you don't even know like what's the main road anymore it's like really hard to know it's hard to know anyway i think we we'll do like 15 minutes more and then we'll find a place to camp <sighs> yeah let's go over there shall we that okay. looks that looks like it's uh is sheltered a little bit all right you can jump off i think if we go down there behind that hill yeah, i think it's fine for you to, to ride here okay shall i just follow you okay So would you reckon for just like pitching the tent here? Yeah. This surrounding is spectacular, absolutely spectacular. It is amazing. But I'm very exhausted and ready for bed. Yeah, yeah, let's pitch up the tent. I don't know if you remember our beetle friends from this morning. Oh, a little bug invasion. Oh, he's upside down. Oh, they actually <laughs> came with us. I don't know how, but they made it into our pannier. What's going on, guys? <laughs> That's ridiculous. What an amazing location. We've got our climate tent and our climate chairs to make for the most scenic and most comfortable camp. Wow. The ride was absolutely... A disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster. I just think we went, probably we just went too long. We should have just stopped earlier to be honest. I mean, we already did like 200 miles of paved road before we even turned off onto the dirt road. So I just think I wasn't like, I don't know. I just wasn't ready for it. We dropped the bike three times, three times yeah. in the past two hours. We're really testing our luck dropping Bumblebee three times. Yeah. You know, we can't afford to take the time to do repairs. We have just 10 days left yeah. uh, to get in and out of Russia. So, yeah. It's now about 90 miles dirt road and then we will hit a paved road. Yeah. And from there on, it should be fine. So fingers crossed tomorrow, the 90 miles will be durable somehow. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to it. I think I might have hurt my rib when we fell off. Maybe the first time, maybe the second time, maybe a combination of both, <laughs> but combined with the fact that I have like a chest infection, now when I cough, it hurts. So it's like compound now. Today, I'm just gonna write off today and say, a bit of a disaster, but tomorrow's gonna be better. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Our leftovers from yesterday and I mixed two eggs in there. So it's like a sheep and egg mess basically. I don't even know what that is. No. But it's got good fats, good proteins, and it should give us some energy to take on this dirt road tomorrow. Ready to start the day? <laughs> Just about.